What's up everyone, I'm Adam and today uh, we're going to be discussing the new Pokemon Go update which was released a few days ago. There's a few stuff that's changed, a few things that have been nerfed and buffed. So yeah, let's let's get into the video and discuss this Pokemon Go update. So all the small things pretty much, um, you can customise avatars. You could only just do this after creating your avatar, so that's, that's kind of cool. And you can also add... You can also add blue gear to your character, so that's good for Team Mystic. Hashtag Team Mystic. Uh, the the damage per second has also been uh, revamped for almost every move uh, in the game, which is bringing it like kind of balanced better. Uh, but I'll, I'll I'll discuss that in depth in a second, um, particularly for Water Gun and Hydro Pump and Aqua Tail. It, it affects a certain Pokemon very 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 much. And you can also uh, and there's also a bit of differentiation towards nests. Uh, there are a lot of nests spawning different species of Pokemon and you can also not catch certain Pokemon more easily so the rarity has been increased so this this specifically uh, this specifically affects Dratini. You can't catch Dratinis as, as often anymore. A lot of Dratini, Dratini nests have been uh, they've been revamped so they spawn different Pokemon. And also the transfer button has been moved so it's like at the bottom corner of the screen so you'd have to scroll uh, all the way down to the bottom of the screen, less less time, more effective and more efficient. And you cannot, and you also accident, you, you can't transfer a favorite Pokemon. So if you've got like a star in the corner, you can't transfer a favorite Pokemon anymore. And there's also some bug fixes with the maps and gyms and that. And there's also the distance indicator, so the steps. Uh, previously, we've had the three-step glitch, which means that if you're searching for a Pokemon and it's nearby. It will always be three steps away, and it will never be any less or any more. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to fix it. And by trying to fix it, they've removed it from the game for a while. So now there's no steps at all. It's just It just shows you what's nearby, and there's no way of tracking it. Well, there is a way of tracking them, and I'll probably do a video based on it later. And also, right, so um, after discussing all that, all the new stuff, the, the, the less important stuff, the stuff that's just... Makes the game better and more and more efficient. We're going to discuss the, the moves. So there have been a lot of move nerfs and buffs. It's not the Pokémon's that have been nerfed and buffed. It's the um, the moves, and this can affect the um, the way that the Pokémon performs and what damage the move does. So I'll leave a link to the to the uh, to the website that I found all these moves, buffs and nerfs on. And you can look at them because I'm not going to read them all out because there's a lot of buffs and nerfs. So I'm just going to discuss one Pokemon in particular, and that's Vaporeon. Now, Vaporeon is a Pokemon that's easily obtainable. You just have to evolve an Eevee, which are quite common. It's easy to get a strong Pokemon. The multiplier is very high. Uh, so Vaporeon is previously one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. But after the nerf and buffs of the moves, uh, Water Gun now only does 6 damage. It's been nerfed by... 40%. It was previously 10, but they've but they've decreased it to 6 to balance it out. And Aqua Tail has been nerfed by 10%. It's it's kind of like uh, I I don't really like it to to be honest with you. I mean I just got my Vaporeon evolved. If you see in Monday's video, I got Aqua Tail and Water Gun, which was previously the best move set in the game, and now it's been nerfed. So. There's nothing I can do about it, but you know, it's it's still a good Pokemon. Like it's still a strong Pokemon, but it's not as good as it was before. So it's it make it makes sense because Vaporeon is easily obtainable, and everyone's getting this strong ass Vaporeon where it's everywhere. It's in all the gyms and that, but it, it's more balanced now. And and also Hydro Pump has been buffed by 50%. So previously, so previously Hydro Pump did 60 damage, and now it's gone up to 90. So if you own a Vaporeon with Hydro Pump, you then it, it's pretty good. I think the worst move set is probably like Water Gun and Water Pulse because Water Pulse doesn't really do much anyway. It only, it only had a 35. Um, it only had. Th yeah, it's, it's only just got a buff to 35 damage. So I think that's it. I'm just gonna. My my Vaporeon was 1128 when I uh, powered it up and everything. So it's still a strong Pokemon. It's still a it's still a good Pokemon to use. I mean, it's 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 not bad by any means. It's still still really good, but. I think that's it. I think that's all I've got to discuss just, um, concerning the update. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more Pokemon Go news and videos, and I'll see you in the next video.